Independence Day letdown, all new at 6, The Promise. St. Petersburg is making tonight and the next show for the very company behind that fireworks failure. Good evening, I'm Paula Grohl, filling in for Jameson. And I'm Wendy Ryan, thanks for joining us everyone. The company behind last night's failed fireworks display in St. Pete, setting up right now for a show in Gulfport. New at six, ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee with the finger pointing that's going on tonight. Heather. Paul, Wendy, Gulfport canceled their fireworks show last night because of bad weather. You can see bad weather is even moving in at the moment, but the company is extending the show tonight to 25 minutes and even using some of the supplies they were going to use in St. Petersburg. Disappointment 45 minutes before showtime. It just didn't happen and it didn't happen and then eventually someone said that they were canceled. Fourth of July fireworks were set to explode over the city of St. Pete at 915. At 830, Creative Pyrotechnics, the company doing the display for the last decade, told the city it wasn't going to happen. We were completely caught off guard and, and completely surprised. The company says bad weather slowed the setup and while getting ready, weather again set them back even more. We had staff touch base with the vendor multiple times. The vendor assured us over and over again that they were prepped and they were ready. When that's your business, um, on such a special day and such a big event, you would think that all the T's were crossed and the I's were dotted. St. Pete officials say they chose not to do a makeup show tonight after losing confidence in the company. The same company setting off fireworks in the city of Gulfport tonight. John Cook isn't wasting his gas. No, I'm not taking, I'm not going down there. <laughs> do you think it's worth the risk? No, no, honestly, no. Now, St. Pete officials telling me tonight they do not plan on paying that vendor for their services, and they are going to find another vendor for next year. For now, we're live in Gulfport. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. All right.